I have this fun little challenge and we're gonna figure it out. We have 12 cue balls and they all are the same in appearance, but one of them is different in mass. We don't know if it's lighter or heavier and we have to figure that out. And we have to figure out which one it is. Now we get a counterbalance and we get three tries. So here we go. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. All right, let's separate those into three different groups. And let's put first two groups on the counterbalance. All right, now let's say that the right side goes down. Well, then we know that all of these here are normal. All right, and we know that one of these is heavy and one of these, or one of these is light. So we gotta figure that out. Let's go ahead and let's take three and four off of the counterbalance. And let's take eight over here on the heavy side and take that off of the counterbalance. Let's go ahead and switch five and two. And let's put one of the normal ones over here. Let's put nine there. All right, if it stays the same like that, then we know that five and two are normal because they didn't change anything. And six and seven, one of those could be heavy or one over here could be light. So let's go ahead and take six and seven and let's put those on the counterbalance. And if one of them goes down, we know it's the heavy culprit and guilty as sin. Now, if they stay the same, then we know one is light and that's the guilty one. Now, let's say that those, when we did this mix up here, let's say they stayed the same. If they stayed the same, then we know that one of these three is guilty. And we know that three or four could be light, eight could be heavy. Let's take three and four, let's put those on the counterbalance. Whichever one is light is gonna go up and you've pinpointed the guilty one. If they stay the same, then you know A is the heavy one and guilty is sin. Okay, now there's another thing that can happen here. Let's say that when we made the big switch, let's say that they switched as far as the counterbalance. That means that two or five is the guilty one and the rest of them are normal. All right, so we know that two either was lighter and lifted that one up or five was heavier and made that one go down. So let's take one, which we know is normal now, and let's take five, put those on the counterbalance. If five was the heavy one, then it would go down. If they stay the same, you know that two is lighter and you figured it all out. Now we still got lots more to figure out here. So let's go back to our preliminary weigh-in. And we've got five, six, seven, and we're gonna put eight right back there. All right, let's say that when we did that preliminary weigh-in, they all stayed the same. Then we know that all of those are normal and your guilty one's gonna be over here. So. Let's go ahead and take all of those off of the scale. And let's put nine and 11 over here on the left side. And let's put 10 over here on the right side. And let's leave 12 out of the picture for right now. And let's take one of these that we know is normal. We'll take lucky seven. And we're gonna put that over here. Now, now that we've done that, if they stay the same, we know that 12 is the bad boy. And so let's take one of these that we now know is normal and let's weigh that. And if 12 goes up, it's not only the bad boy, but a light bad boy. If 12 goes down, he's a bad boy and he's heavy. Okay, now let's say that they don't stay the same. Let's say that seven and 10 go down. Well, then we know that either nine 
or 11 or light or 10 is the heavy one. So let's go ahead and let's balance these out. 11 and 9 and we'll figure out if one of these is light then it's going to go up and you figured it out 9 in this situation is going to be the culprit and light. Okay. If they balance out then you know that 10 is a heavy one and out of here. I hope y'all enjoyed it.